Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we will learn about uh, customer data cloud and uh, marketing cloud, how to ingest data from marketing cloud to data cloud and to how to do some data modeling. So this is a uh, uh, first step, I would say. So we will go into setup uh, and data cloud. Here, as you can see, there is possibility to connect uh, different tools that are related to Salesforce, us, we are interested in marketing cloud. Then I will click here to connect my business unit. And then I will continue to, uh, to, to, to do the process. So as you can see here, I'm successfully authenticated. Uh, here, I will be able to select a bundle. So this is basically uh, based on the different channels that you have into Marketing Cloud. Here in my case, uh, it's a sandbox. So I have, I have like three different channels. Like I have email, mobile connect, and mobile push. So I will select this three. Here, I will uh, click here to define like the uh, business unit that I want to use. In my case, I want to use my own business unit and the parent one. Uh, but you are free to select what you want to do. And here, uh, the third option is not allowed yet. Uh, so I will just go into the last option. So here, basically, I will work on which business unit I want to activate it to collect data from. And I will select my own business unit. So OK, I have all my, my setup marketing cloud uh, ready to go. I can go back in home, and I will go in data stream. So here, as you can see, I already have a data stream because I have run a few tests. But uh, we will create a new one, and we will go step by step through it. Here in my connected source, you can see that I already have Marketing Cloud uh, available because we just did the setup uh, together before. If I was, if I had doing, if I did um, the connector with uh, B2C Commerce, for example, I will see the logo B2C Commerce as well. Uh, so here, I, I have the possibility to see. Okay, uh, I will just re repeat the process. Here, Marketing Cloud, and next, and then it should load. I will just refresh the page. OK, Marketing Cloud, next. OK, so it was just uh, that I had to refresh the page. So here I have Email Studio, Mobile Connect, Mobile Push. Uh, I'm interested in a data extension. So basically here, I can select directly a channel uh, that will include all the information. But if I want to be a bit granular, then I can pick a data extension directly. So here I will select, uh, I don't know, like. If I go in Marketing Cloud, which one can be interesting? Uh, how about Webhook? So if I do Webhook, OK. Yeah, I, I can take this one. So I will do Webhook. So this is a data extension, basically, that I select. And I will say, uh, Zoom subscriber. This is the name of my data extension. So this relates to a profile. Profile is like attributes about an individual. Engagement will be attributes on how an individual is interacting with my website, for example. So here I will say up oh, profile, and I will just check, do I have a primary key? Yeah, so it's my registrant ID. Here I will take that, tack, and I will click next. Here I will say basically, do every time you pull data from this data extension in Marketing Cloud, refresh fully uh, the data that you are collecting. It's like a bit like an overwrite, overwrite. And here I do full refresh frequency hourly. And here I will click on deploy. So once I finally deploy my data uh, stream, I should be able to start mapping data. So basically what I do here is I have my data extension in Marketing Cloud that, that will be uh, directly connected to other objects in uh, Data Cloud. And I will be selecting the object now. So I will be selecting individual. And there is a second one that I wrote, contact point email. So I click here, I click down. Here, uh, first thing first, I, I will connect my registrant ID. So this is basically the subscriber key. That's the most important thing to connect for each object. And my primary key for my data extension should be connected to uh, the primary key that I have in the two uh, data model entities. So email will be email address. Username, I, I think. No, email is not available here. So uh, here, as you can see, there is a lot of different fields that I can map. After, um, I need to find which one are relevant. And if they are not relevant, it, it's, it's all right. I don't have to connect them in all the case. But for example, meeting topic, it could be something like interest. I don't know if there is something related. We could find that in here. Now there is no, but it could be a, uh, it could be something that I add to the object as well. So uh, 
So for example, if I, uh, if I click here, edit property, oh, oh, here I can add a new field directly, but I will have to save it. So what I will do is, is I will add a new field to my uh, data model entity individual, and we will call that uh, meeting topic. So here, as you can see, I'm choosing some uh, data model entity that are out of the box, but I will, I will create my own data uh, entity as well. Uh, so here I can say, uh, for example, meeting topic, and data type, I will say text, and I will save that. And basically what I will do next is I will map meeting topic to unmap. So here I click that, and then I go into here, meeting topic up. And now I will pass meeting topic from my data extension to the model entity individual meeting topic. Then I can click save and close. And here I've correctly mapped uh, my data extension to two different data entities. So as you can see here, the last run status is on pending and it can take up to 24 hours to switch from pending to active. So it means that I have to wait 24 hours to be able to uh, start activating the data or building segment. But uh, like the different uh, data stream that I've created are also visible from the data lake object, uh, as you can see. And, um, and here I can see like the data mo mo model object that are already mapped. And if I click all, I will should be able to see uh, all of the different uh, model entities that are available. Uh, so this is basically how to map Marketing Cloud, a specific data extension of Marketing Cloud to Data Cloud. And this will allow you to pull the data from a specific data extension to Data Cloud, and then to associate the data that you collected from the data extension to, to some uh, data model entity that are, uh, for example, individual or email contact points. Uh, and they are like objects into Sales Cloud. But as we are in Data Cloud, we will call that data model entity. So uh, if you have any question, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you.